वेलकम बैक टू जियोलॉजी आस्पिरेंट यूट्यूब चैनल सो वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द आइसोस्टेसी एंड यू ऑल नो आइसोस्टेसी इज अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज कमिंग अंडर द फिजिकल जियोलॉजी एंड दिस इज कमिंग अंडर द आल्सो जाम सिलेबस एंड दिस इज अ वेरी बेसिक टॉपिक ऑल जियोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स शुड नो दैट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक बिफोर गोइंग टू द टॉपिक वी शुड डिस्कस अबाउट द कंटेंट व्हाट द कंटेंट वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस टॉपिक इन टुडे so basically we will start with the introduction then we will see a term which is very famous in isostasy that, that is isopestic level or you can say depth of compensation uh, some people are uh, saying depth of compensation and we will see basically the theory which is given by the airy pratt and heskenen then after that we will see some formula and previous year question but uh, again let me clear you first so we will divide this isostasy part in three lectures okay so in first part we will see these three things and again in one day we will derive some formula and then we will see the previous year question okay uh, i can finish this in one lecture also but it will take uh, more time like uh, it will take 50 minute to 1 hour and it will be lengthy for uh, most of you as most of you suggested in comment section that uh, the length or duration of the video should be small okay it will approx 10 to 20 minutes so according to your preference i have decided to break this isostasy part into three lectures and accordingly we will discuss so let's coming to the introduction part and you all know i think and if you are beginner then we will study all the things the term isost we are using the term isostasy but the isostasy term come from the iso means equal st uh, stasis word comes from the stasis which means the stability or balance that means how uh, i can say that this is the earth surface somewhere you are seeing the mountain somewhere you are seeing the basin yes or no obviously and somewhere you are seeing small depression somewhere you are seeing the ocean and obviously you have the you can say himalayan mountain which is near about uh, th more than 1000 meter okay and you have the mariana trench also you all know so how these things are balanced on the earth like if you imagine this is your earth somewhere you will getting the highland somewhere you will, uh, you will get the depressions okay depressions like this so how earth is actually balanced uh, or how the land where we are moving is balanced so that is nothing but the topic which is isostasy so i hope aapko isostasy ke bare mein ek clear idea aa gaya hoga ki isostasy kya hai how we will going to discuss and what are the things we need to क्योंकि कंटेंट भी हमने देख लिया एंड वी हैव सीन अ स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन दैट इज इक्वल एंड एंड स्टैटिक और यू कैन से बैलेंस सो दैट मींस हाउ अर्थ इज इन अ बैलेंस अगेन आई एम सेइंग द टर्म इज रिपीटेटिंग मेनी टाइम्स बट डोंट नेगलेक्ट दिस थिंग्स ओके बिकॉज़ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर बेसिक अगेन द टर्म आइसोस्टेसी इज फर्स्ट कॉइंड बाय अमेरिकन जियोलॉजिस्ट C E Dutton in 1889 so you have to remember also this because in entrance sometimes they will ask uh, different terms and with a different uh, scientist you have to match like you know if you are uh, solving the question of jam they will give like two columns and you have to match so you have to remember the isostasy is first coined by american geologist C E Dutton in 1889 he suggested that the gravitational balance exist between elevated mass and obviously elevated mass means what we have discussed earlier that is mountain and the basin so he is saying there is a gravitational balance or there is a gravitational force which is balancing all the things okay this this is the observation by c e dutton but these are the things after the study of isostasy plate tectonic all the things we came to know that lithosphere obviously is floating on the asthenosphere this we know from the plate tectonic theory we will study this in the upcoming lectures so we all know we have the lithosphere and it is floating below the asthenosphere okay again mountain stands high because they have made up of rock of low density you all know mount hum bolte hain ki mountain ka height bahut zyada hai why kyunki iska obviously surface se agar hum dekhenge ye up bahut upar hai aur kahin pe depression land hai so why mountain and basin have the different like uh, इसका हाइट पॉजिटिव में है इसका हाइट नेगेटिव में हमें मिलता है सो माउंटेन का जो डेंसिटी रहता है इज लोअर एज कंपेयर टू द बेसिन डेंसिटी ओके और यू कैन से बेसिन डेंसिटी इज हायर 
or density of the basin is higher but this is not uh, actually st stated by the c dutton just he stated these things but, but these things were in the initial stage but later or nowadays as we are uh, advancing towards the geology uh, or uh, many research has been done so now we can say confidently that the mountain have the lower density and basin have the higher density or you can say the uh, thickness is inversely proportional to the density okay we'll see it later one by one when we'll go to the theory then coming to the again earth crust floors okay earth ka jo crust hai wo kya karta hai like uh, we can say jo earth ka crust hai wo float karta hai ye depend kis ke upar karta hai thickness and density ke upar that we have discussed means which one which part will float means that we are saying the asthenosphere part asthenosphere is above, uh, below the lithosphere or lithosphere floating above the asthenosphere so it is floating so it is mainly depend upon the density and the thickness thickness means ye kitna thick hai iska density kya hai suppose hum bol rahe hain ek elevated mass hai theek hai earth ka surface mein yahan par ek elevated mass hai yahan par depression hai to iska depth kya hai iska height kya hai ye height jo hai kitna ho sakta hai iska ye area ka density kitna hai ye rock ka density kitna hai ye sab cheez ye sab factor usko influence karte hain so i think now you have a clear idea regarding the isostasis so coming to the next again wahi cheez hai Ele elevated mass have the lower density jitna mass elevated rahega uska lower rahega and we are seeing the depression basins or uh, uh, the rock which is in the basin they have obviously higher density as compared to the elevated mass now it, i think it is clear sabko samajh mein aa gaya hoga then coming to the term what what we have discussed in the content part the zone of compensation or you can say isopestic level some people are saying it is iso iso means equal pestic means pressure we'll see and uh, some people are saying level of uniform pressure same cheez hai sab same cheez hai alag alag point of view se sab bol rahe hain okay bas wording mein change aa raha hai again some people are uh, saying zone of compensation okay so तो so, यहाँ पर ये यह जोन क्या है यहाँ पर होता क्या है हियर द प्रेशर ड्यू टू द एलिवेटेड मासेस एंड डिप्रेस पार्ट आर इक्वल तो यहाँ पर एक ऐसा जोन है यहाँ पर जैसे अभी अगर फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज द सरफेस एंड दिस इज द माउंटेन एंड दिस इज द डिप्रेशन सो इफ आई विल से प्रेशर एट पॉइंट पी वन एंड प्रेशर एट पॉइंट पी टू मे नॉट बी सेम ये सेम नहीं हो सकता है यहाँ पर अगर मैं बोलूँ यहाँ पर ये पी थ्री लेता हूँ एंड यहाँ पर मैं बोलता हूँ पी फोर प्रेशर एट पॉइंट पी थ्री एंड पी फोर ऑल्सो विल नॉट बी द सेम बट एट ए सर्टन डेप्थ एक डेप्थ है जिसको हम बोलते हैं आइसोपेस्टिक लेवल इसके नीचे जहाँ पे ये आप इस लेवल के नीचे जहाँ पर भी आओगे और ये लाइन के ऊपर आप जहाँ पर भी देखोगे मतलब ये नीचे ही रहता है ठीक है बिलो द अर्थ सर्फेस और बिलो इन द सब सर्फेस ओके हियर यू विल गेट द इक्वल प्रेशर सो दैट इज नथिंग बट जोन ऑफ तो इसके नीचे जो भी आपको एरिया मिलता है यहाँ पर यू विल एक्सपीरियंस द इक्वल प्रेशर सो दैट इज द रीजन वी आर से जोन ऑफ आइसोपेस्टिक लेवल और जोन ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म प्रेशर जोन ऑफ कंपेंसेशन the state of isostasis can be maintained only if there is a continuous compensation to so, isostasis maintain kaise hua obviously jahan par ki ek compensation depth hai aap khud imagine karo ye agar surface hai ye sub surface hai this is surface yahan par mountain hai yahan par basin bhi hai everything is there in the surface but when you are coming to the sub surface agar yahan par pressure equal nahi hua to aap imagine karo iska pressure zyada hai iska pressure kam hai to obviously na you will experience different things you will get tectonic and all the things so to be stabilized or ek stable landmass aapko milta hai due to the zone of compensation theek hai aur iska rehna bahut zaruri hai aur mainly ye zone karta kya hai vertical adjustment karta hai mainly it is the vertical movement or adjustment okay so ye zone kya hai abhi aapko ek idea aa gaya hoga theoretically but aapka dimag mein abhi bhi ye imagination chalta hoga ki actually ye hai kya kaisa dikhta hai so we'll see with uh, some schematic diagram when we'll move forward uh, in individual theories which is given by the different people with time so let's coming to the aris theory i aris ka theory kya tha unhone kya bola so we have three theory airy pratt and heskanin we will discuss today all three theories okay so basically aris said different crustal block are of unhone kya bola dekho abhi ke time pe or now we can easily say ki thickness inversely proportional to the density because we know all the things but imagine the situation when uh, kuch bhi derive nahi hua tha at that time so unka ek observation tha but this you can say this is wrong for today but at that time it was a big discovery okay so try to understand so equal density tha theek hai unhone kya bola crystal block 
आर ऑफ इक्वल डेंसिटी एंड एंड अन इक्वल थिकनेस तो उन्होंने क्या बोला डेंसिटी तो सबका जितना भी हमें क्रिस्टल ब्लॉक दिख रहा है सबका डेंसिटी क्या है सेम है बट सबका थिकनेस जो है वो क्या है डिफरेंट है दिस इज द ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ एरी सो अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम द ब्लॉक कंसिक्वेंट द माउंटेन आर थीकर ऑब्वियसली तो जो माउंटेन जिस जगह पे आपको माउंटेन मिल रहा है इफ दिस इज द सरफेस ये थीकर है देन दो आर द प्लेन तो प्लेन के कंटिन्यू ये इसका अगर थिकनेस में बोलूँ एच वन तो इसका अगर थिकनेस में बोलूँ एच जीरो तो ऑब्वियसली ना एच वन इज ग्रेटर देन एच टू द प्लेन एंड दे स्टैंड हायर अप टू जस्ट सम अवे हुईच इन हुईच ह्यूज ब्लॉक ऑफ आइस प्रोजेक्ट तो उन्होंने क्या बोला जैसे आइस वाटर का रिलेशन रहता है तो जितना इसका हाइट ज्यादा है तो उसका रूट भी नीचे उतना ही रहता है मीन्स ही सेड कि जैसे आइस अगर आपके पास वाटर है आप वाटर में एक आइस का ब्लॉक लेके सस्पेंड कर दो तो ऊपर में वो जितना दिखेगा ना उसका अप्रोक्स यू कैन से एट और नाइन्थ पार्ट नीचे रहता है तो दैट ही सजेस्टेड ओके उसका रूट मतलब ऊपर में वो जितना ठीक है उसका रूट नीचे में और भी ज्यादा है नीचे और भी ज्यादा पेनिट्रेट है ऐसा हो ही नहीं सकता कि इफ दिस इज द सरफेस एंड माउंटेन ओनली यहाँ तक ही वो है नहीं इट्स इट हैज अ रूट दैट ही सजेस्टेड एट दैट टाइम ओके एंड दिस इज अ रिलेशन लाइक आइस वाटर यू ऑल नो इफ यू विल कीप सस्पेंड अ आइस ब्लॉक ऑन वाटर एंड यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट ओके यू कैन सी मैक्सिमम पर्सन ऑफ द आइस इज बिलो द वाटर एंड यू विल सी सम पार्ट और वन और टू परसेंट ओके एब द वाटर तो सिमिलर रिलेशन इज हैपनिंग ऑन द माउंटेन एंड एलिवेटेड एरिया द थिकर ब्लॉक आर द सेम थिकनेस सिंक्स डीपर डाउन तो उन्होंने क्या बोला जो ब्लॉक थीकर है और यू कैन से माउंटेन ओके सेम टाइम सिंक्स डीपर डाउन इन द सब स्टार्टम एंड दस कंस्टिट्यूएंट द रूट तो वही उन्होंने वही बोला कि उसका एक रूट रहता है कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग तो माउंटेन का थिकनेस के हिसाब से वो एक उसका रूट रहता है ओके देन कमिंग टू द अकॉर्डिंग टू एरिस एरी दे आर फॉर माउंटेन आर सपोर्टेड बाई देर रूट तो माउंटेन इतना वी आर सही ना माउंटेन इतना एलिवेटेड होकर खड़ा कैसे तो उसको नीचे से कौन सपोज यू आर मेकिंग अ हाउस टूडे तो ये हाउस आपको सर्फेस पे तो इतना ही दिखता है बट ये हाउस इतना ही नहीं नीचे यू हैव द पिलर यू हैव द प्लिंग एंड ऑल द थिंग यू हैव बिलो द सर्फेस और यू कैन से यू हैव इन द सब सर्फेस सिमिलरली बट दिस इज अ बहुत कम लेवल पे जो हम बिल्डिंग वगैरह बनाते हैं बट दिस इज अ नेचुरली तो ये बहुत डेप तक रहता है रूट ओके okay? so this is a wooden wood and uh, this is the ye yeah, dekhiye ki maximum part is below the surface so that is he tried he tried or he make to understand that ki root jo rehta hai maximum part uh, below the surface which is the root but what we are seeing suppose we are seeing a mountain hum bolte hai bahut iska height hai surface se bahut upar hai but usse bahut zyada uska root hai niche okay i think now it is clear रिगार्डिंग एंड जो डेप्थ हम बोल रहे थे ना डेप्थ ऑफ इक्वल प्रेशर जो हम बोले थे यहाँ पर है यहाँ पर से वो जो ये जो डेप्थ है ना बी ये जो लाइन में खींच रहा हूँ यहाँ पर आपको प्रेशर इक्वल मिलता है मीन्स यहाँ पर जो प्रेशर रहेगा यहाँ पर भी सेम प्रेशर रहेगा यहाँ पर भी सेम प्रेशर रहेगा यहाँ पर भी सेम प्रेशर रहेगा इन ऑल रीजन इफ दिस इज पॉइंट वन इफ दिस इज पॉइंट टू इफ दिस इज पॉइंट थ्री एंड इफ दिस इज पॉइंट फोर प्रेशर एट ऑल रीजन ऑल पॉइंट आर इक्वल बिलो दिस लाइन एंड दिस जोन इज कॉल्ड जोन ऑफ कंपनसेशन so this is the aris hypothesis and ye model hai ki how if you see if this is your surface so you can imagine if this is the surface and this is the elevation if this suppose this is h1 so you can see below the surface how its root is penetrating if this is h2 similarly if this is k1 height and you can imagine below up to this this is k1 below the surface how its root is penetrating ओके सो आई थिंक नाउ इट इज क्लियर एंड कमिंग टू द प्राट हाइपोथेटिस तो प्राट हाइपोथेटिस ही जस्ट चेंज समथिंग इन द एरिस हाइपोथेटिस सो व्हाट ही सेड और व्हाट ही सेड इन हिज थ्योरी ही सेड ऑल द ब्लॉक हैव डिफरेंट डेंसिटी रिमेंबर दिस ही सेड ब्लॉक और यू कैन से क्रिस्टल रॉक हैव डिफरेंट डेंसिटी बट क्रिस्टल रॉक हैव different density and different thickness but if you remember airy said ki density is same but thickness is varying but here the things 
Ibers and according to Pratt, he said, and this is actually correct. Different thickness is also different, and density also is different. They have the inverse relation. Density inversely proportional to thickness. You can say density inversely proportional to the T is standing for thickness, and rho is for density. Okay, this is indicating density, and T for thickness. And greater the thickness, smaller the density. Obviously, this is the inverse relation. You can. Uh, imagine or interpret this is not a very big concept then he said the density of the oceanic crust is near about 230 gram per cc 3.0 gram per cc or you can say 2.9 gram per cc and he suggested again the crustal thickness is 2.6 to 2.7 gram per cc according to irish theory so just he changed one thing that the density is also matlab uh, density is changed and also the thickness is also changing with respect to the density but that lagged in the aris theory so this is the again ye jo line hai na line of ye jo hai line of compensation to ya is line pe aap ya fir iske niche jahan par bhi aap dekhoge you will get equal pressure okay so the he suggested that if you will see the thickness it has less thickness that means it has the higher density as compared to this suppose i am comparing tin and lead lead and tin both have different thickness both have different density so i can say from his theory that lead has the lower density as it has higher thickness compared to the lead okay then coming to the hess cannon theory hess cannon theory he combined the assumption of both airy and pratt he said that yes what you all are saying is correct but i want to add one thing that density is not only varying in between the blocks instead of that he said density is always varying in between the blocks and as well as within the block that means if this is a block again this is a block this is block 1 and this is block 2 so if density of block 1 is a and density of block 1 b according to the according to aris and pratt he said instead of that density also varying from top to bottom if here the density is a1 so in the bottom part you will get density b a2 okay all the blocks have different thickness obviously thickness is varying uh, this is accepted by everyone but the only key concept given by different different people that is the density aries said the density is same but uh, then pratt said no density is varying block to block again hess cannon came and he said yes you all are correct density is varying block to block and as well as i am adding one sentence that it is varying also within the rock or within the block means if this is a rock and again if this is a rock a and b if here the density is a1 and again here density will be a2 okay or a3 and in this place density will be a2 so that means density is varying within the block and if here the density is b1 here density will be b2 that means a1 is not equal to b2 means density is varying block to block and within the block i think now this is clear and what he explain that is exact uh, here you you can see the commas it is not comma these are actually points okay so these are indicating the densities so you can see so density of this block is something different this block is something different and again every block have the different density and within the block also you have the change in the density so i think this is enough for today uh, we have discuss basic part and all the theories and in next we will see different kind of formulas thank you for watching